items from a recent train show were pretty cheap. A brand new Rico station kit for $20, a box car for $10, and two Plasticville buildings at $5 a piece. The switch tower has turned into a couple of fun projects. The upper part is now a loading platform, and the lower part will be a small office. This was possible because the used switch tower came with two roof sections. After cutting the walls in half, and then splicing in a section of new siding, plus a few other details, my tiny little office is ready for paint. At some future point, I may add interior lighting, so in addition to the roof, I'll also paint the inside walls flat black. After the red has dried overnight, I'll leave the masking tape in place and begin dry brushing the siding with a light tan acrylic paint. The tan will hit on any raised areas of the siding, and to bring out the shadows of the recessed areas, I'll apply a thin wash of diluted black that will settle and dry in the low sections. The tape did a really good job of keeping out the red paint, but some of the black did manage to seep through. In most cases, I can clean it off with a damp paintbrush, but other areas may need a little touch-up with more flat white. Either way, it's not really a big deal, and I'm happy overall with the results so far. <music>
I wouldn't say that my shingles are supposed to look like slate. They more likely resemble asphalt. But that doesn't mean that my roof can't have copper accents. After the brown has dried, I'll use a mixture of green and light gray to hopefully create a weathered copper or maybe a bronze effect. I made a few decals for my roof signs. White lettering on a black background is a pretty cool look, but when using white inkjet decal paper, I'm usually left with a faint white border after cutting them apart. Luckily, in this situation, I can just blend those edges in with more flat black craft paint. I picked up six of these light fixtures on eBay. Without resistors, they'll burn out quickly with anything more than three volts. I know this from experience because I'm down to four functional lamps at this point, but this one still works. And for now, I'll just use this battery pack for power. This thin clear plastic was part of a larger box that held Christmas ornaments, but a little hot glue and a scrap of paper will serve as glass and a window shade for my small office. Music 